Tomorrow is election day. I really don't know what else I can say. I guess all I have to say is we warned you. All of us that warned you about Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. We warned you about that. We warned you about Nancy Pelosi. Because Nancy Pelosi's got her eyes on the White House. She said it in an interview. She's got her eyes on the White House. If Joe Biden does not make it as president, now they may allow him to get in there. So that if he happens to kick the bucket, his family can go down and say in history that he was president. But Kamala Harris then takes over. And I wouldn't doubt if they have some type of deal made with Kamala Harris that if something happens to Joe Biden, that Kamala Harris will willfully hand it over to Nancy Pelosi. We tried to warn you. I don't know what else we can say. We talked until... Our face turned blue. And so-called black Americans still refuse to listen. I can now see why the rest of the world thinks so low of black Americans. You even have radio personalities saying that black people that make choices for themselves... And choose to walk away from the Democrat plantation. Is not bright enough. It's not smart enough. Not intelligent enough. To make the right choices and decisions. They even go as far as saying that. You really don't know what you are doing. Because. You are ignorant. But I warned you. If Joe Biden and Kamala Harris win the White House, anything happens from that time on, you cannot blame Trump. You allowed your hatred, your ignorance, and the brainwashing and witchcraft that the media placed upon your mind and your spirit You allow hatred to take over to the point where you're allowing, you're giving, you're surrendering yourself. You're you're selling your soul to the Democrat Party. You are literally handing your life over, your family's life over into the hands of communists. And many modern day young people have no idea what socialism and communism is. They change the definition on you. They're making you think it's one thing when in reality it's something entirely different. Just look at Maxine Waters and the comment she made about black men that support Trump and how she would never forgive that. She spoke so low of black men, like black men cannot make choices and decisions for themselves. But yet she lives in a mansion. She does not even live in the district that she's over. Look at the district of Maxine Waters and Kamala Harris, Ilhan Omar, All of these so-called black politicians, even Nancy Pelosi, look at the districts that they're over. That's coming to America as a whole. Because it's like somebody that don't take care of their house. When you go to their homes, they have roaches. It's filthy. It's dirty. When you go inside the bathrooms, 
You see urine on the floor. You see feces around the stools. You have dogs and cats. They have animals that they allow to defecate and urinate. And they're content with living in that condition. So you allow them into your home to stay. Do you think, do you honestly believe that they're going to take care of your home? If they couldn't take care of their own home? And I always say charity starts at home and spreads abroad. So if their district is in a mess, what do you think is going to happen when they get in the White House? They've been in the White House for 40 some odd years and have not done anything for black people, have not done anything for this nation. The only thing they did was stuff their own pockets. They enriched their own homes and left Americans, primarily so-called black people, on the bottom begging with their hands out. And they come and make empty promises to you. And every single election time, you fall for the okie doke. So now I can understand why it's so easy. Or it was so easy for your ancestors to be taken into captivity because you're so gullible. You allow hatred to destroy your own future and the future of your children. You might as well cancel the future of your children. Because you just made a deal with the devil and sold them back into slavery. But I want you to listen to something. I want you to listen to Hot 97 Ebro regarding Lil Wayne making a choice for himself and supporting Trump. Notice, it's the Democrats that go against black people Even white people go against black people that support Trump because they feel that you now are out of place. You've now crossed over and you're not supposed to make any choices and decisions for yourself. They're supposed to make choices and decisions for you because you're not that bright. You're not that intelligent. Listen to what Ebro says about Lil Wayne. And I want you to pay extra attention to when Ebro was saying what Lil Wayne rap about and how you can't really take him serious because of what he rap about. Debauchery and drugs and and whatnot. But yet, Hot 97 play it on their station. They interview these dudes. They make money off them. But yet now, he's going back and pulling... Lil Wayne's music or his lyrics and using them against him. He's now not intelligent enough to make choices or political choices and decisions for himself. His job is to continue to rap. As long as you out there dancing and singing and entertaining, you're in your rightful place. But when you comment on politics, when you give your own or voice your own opinion, now you out of line. You can't handle that. You're not intelligent enough. You need somebody else to think for you. But listen to what Ebro had to say. It's quite interesting. Happened yesterday, a photo of Lil Wayne and Donald Trump and a tweet from Lil Wayne basically saying he sat with Donald Trump and he likes his plans. Let me read, let's read it. Platinum plan is great and he's, he's going to keep his promises. Just had a great meeting with at real Donald Trump at POTUS. By the way, no chance Lil Wayne knows the thing at POTUS, so I'm curious about who wrote this. Besides what he's done so far with criminal reform, the Platinum Plan is going to give the community real ownership. He listened to what we had to say today and assured he will and can get it done. You're a liar. No, Lil Wayne's not a liar. Losers. Well, possibly. You got a check. I firmly believe that. Well, nah, it was a tax. Now, we all know that Lil Wayne's had some tax issues. All right? We all know that Lil Wayne, as far as looking over paperwork, um, you know, he's had some issues in the past looking over his own paperwork, which is why him and Baby was going into it. So I don't know if y'all trust that he 
was able to read this platinum plan and understand it, but all right, we'll play along. Um, I'm more entertained by who thinks that a man who lied as much as Donald Trump in his last term in the White House is going to keep any promise he actually made. Oh, look at my African American over here. Look at him. Apparently, little way. In his last term, he's not gonna. He's, no, he's got nothing to lose. You think he cares? Nope. That's the biggest congrats. Congratulations, you played yourself. Because I'm not. I wasn't shocked nor surprised. I mean, we we listen to these rappers' music. It is about drugs, lean, and all type of debauchery. For years, of course, they align with somebody else who's, who, who's about debauchery and, and shenanigans <laughs> and money. Of and course, money. and money. I mean, Lil Wayne is the same person who did come out and publicly say he didn't care about or support Black Lives Matter. Right. So, what do y'all? Why are y'all? So here's, here's and, and the to the and to the internet before I get to Rosenberg. Hey, Congratulations, well, you played yourself. Well, so can I? Do I get to congratulate Wayne before you congratulate me? For sure. And okay. I just want to say, if you're keeping score at home, Kanye West, Gunplay, Pow. Waka Flocka, Pow. Little Wayne, Pink. Fabio Foreign, Losers, Ice Cube. No. Like, well, he didn't endorse no, Lil Wayne. Didn't, didn't endorse. I mean, uh, didn't endorse. No, you're right. Correct. Didn't endorse. He was like, he absolutely was like, absolutely, I don't. 50 retracted. Oh, retracted. 50 retracted, by the way. And, and, and by the way, Lil Pump. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, big. Yeah. Scott Bayo. Oh, yeah. Chachi? He's been a Republican. <laughs> Kirstie Alley. Sam Let's didn't fall. even want your ass. Mm-hmm. You see how reckless he's talking about these rappers? Listen, if I was these rappers, I would never ever go on that station again and all of the black Trump supporters out there I would never support that channel again Hot 97 I would never listen to it again because this is what they think when you think for yourself now no one's criticizing the Democrats although Joe Biden there's a whole thing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a link on the bottom and regarding Joe Biden and his son, stuff that the media blocks, don't want you to hear. And it's sad because many black people only listen to CNN. So they withhold information from you. They keep you ignorant intentionally. And so when you go out and you start repeating things, you start regurgitating what you heard on CNN and MSNBC and CBS and all of these Trump-hating platforms, you're now doing the bids for them. You're not thinking for yourself because you've done no research. Now you feel so much hate and you don't even know why. But this is what they think of you When you think outside of the Democrat box. Now, I'm going to let you listen to something that Kamala Harris said. I'm going to end this video. Trump did a tax cut that put more money in Americans' pockets. Listen to what Kamala Harris said that they're going to do if they get the White House. Check this out. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Broward County, we are going to do everything we can over these next three days, and God willing, we are going to win this election, and Joe and I are about to get rid of that tax cut. And invest that money in working people and in our families. Invest that money in an infrastructure plan. That is going to be about, yes, building back up our roads and our bridges, but also investing in renewable energies. It is going to create millions of jobs. Now, you notice she's saying all these things she's going to do, but yet did nothing for her own district. Look at California. Look at her district. And you tell me if she's going to really do what she says she's going to do. 
They're going to lace their own pockets. They're going to rich their own homes. Obama said that Trump needed a magic wand because none of these jobs are going to come back. And now we're going to, everything is going to be done, uh, what, electronically or something that he said to that effect. But he rocked you to sleep by making you think that things were so bad in this country that jobs are leaving and they're not coming back. And you had to have a certain skill, which most black people don't have. Most people in America don't have because you've been dumbed down so much. But he's telling you unless you're in a certain field, then you're not going to, those jobs ain't coming back. So he was leading you to the slaughter. He was putting your mind in a position where you could become dependent upon the government. That's socialism. Because once they take or confiscate your guns, and now you're dependent upon them for livelihood, just think of the emergency room. When you get sick or your child gets sick and you go to the emergency room and how filthy it is in there and people coughing and babies crying and people are throwing up and it's overcrowded and you have to wait for hours just to be seen by a doctor. That's socialism. That's people that's dependent upon the government. But when you work and you pay for your private health care, you don't have to go through that. You don't have to depend upon the government to take care of you. So by Trump bringing those jobs here in, in, in America, that's helping black people that could not find work. So I'm going to end it right there. But we warned you. And anything happens if, if Biden and Kamala Harris gets in the White House. From that point on, it's nobody's fault but your own. You can't cry and complain. You can't blame Trump. This is all on you because you've destroyed your own future and the future of your children. You've now enslaved your own selves. You allow them to enslave your mind because once they enslave your mind, your whole body is going to follow and you can't listen that's like a woman that's being constantly abused and beat up. Her eyes blackened, her hair is pulled out, her teeth are missing, nose is bloody, and this dude is constantly beating her behind. And her her family is always telling her, "You need to get away from that. You need to get." You had she had brothers that would go over and defend her and fight for her. She would jump on her brothers for trying to defend her against this abusive dude, and then she would go right back to him. After a while, the family's going to say, you know what? She chose that life. She keep going back to him. Until it gets to the point where it's too late. And he takes her life. He takes her life. And now the family gets paid. They set up a GoFundMe uh, page. And now they're going to get paid off of your ignorance. And they can't blame no one but her because they kept telling her. I kept telling her over and over again, don't go back to that man. Why she keep allowing that man to abuse her until he ultimately destroys her? That's what the Democrat Party is doing to black people. They got your mind so messed up, you're angry. And I'm, I'm really surprised at the number of white people. That's following the Democrat Party. And they become so comfortable where they call black people coons and sellouts and Uncle Ruckus and Buck Dancers. This is the fault of black Americans. Black Democrats have done this. So we told you, we warned you. So tomorrow is election time. I doubt too many people will hear this video. You're going to do what you're going to do. It's already in your heart to do. You're only bringing judgment in a lot faster. At least Trump was buying you maybe four more years. But now you're rushing your own destruction. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Till next time. 
I'm fearless.